What's going on everybody? My name is Eli and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this vlog is a special one for a lot of the people from back home, people that I went to undergrad with, etc. If you are a current UMD student, this is probably a vlog that is very appealing to you. A day in the life at University of Maryland School of Dentistry. So today I have my friend Camille vlogging her day at University of Maryland School of Dentistry, the first dental school in America, I'm pretty sure. Um, if you are new to this series, this is a part of a series that I'm doing where people from different dental schools around the country are vlogging a day in their life at their school so that my subscribers and anyone else who happens to stumble across my channel can get a look at other dental schools because I know everybody subscribed to me does not want to attend my school. Um, so a little bit about me before we jump into the video. I'm a first year dental student at Boston University, Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. On his channel, I make vlogs of my dental school journey as well as videos with tips for pre-dental students. So if you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into a day in the life at University of Maryland School of Dentistry. Hey y'all, um, my name is Camille Alexander. I'm a current D1 at the University of Maryland School of Dentistry. A little bit about myself, I graduated back in 2019 from the University of Maryland College Park um, with a degree in public health science. Um, I, during my gap year, I took, I guess, technically two gap years. Um, one gap year and then one year in the application cycle. But during my gap year, I um, I worked at two different orthodontic offices in the area. Um, oh, also, I live in Maryland. I've lived here my whole life, um, which is one of the reasons I did choose uh, UMSOD because dental school is hard. Like, that's no secret, no surprise to anybody. If it's a surprise to you, surprise. Um, <laughs> but dental school is hard and I mean, undergrad was hard enough and just having like the foundation of going, being able to just go 20 minutes down the road, go home. That's like my, that's my, that's my rock. Going home, seeing my mom, my dad, if I just get stressed, like if I have a bad day, which is very likely in dental school, you know, um, just being able to get in the car and just drive 20 minutes down the street, get a home cooked meal, you know, maybe get twenty dollars or something I don't know but yeah that's that's one of the reasons I chose UMSOD um I also it's been it was my top choice ever since I went to um their open house back in 2015 2016 I don't know I was a baby but yep it's a great school um great program definitely very diverse I've met a lot of different kinds of people at my um during my however many months I've been here this semester, I'm taking dental biomaterials, operative, general pathology, neuroscience, gross anatomy, finished physio. Um, we're taking oral microbio, perio, um, and radiology. So a total of 26 credits. Um, we take at least, I would say, one exam a week. Definitely expect one exam a week. Um, and then some weeks you get two some weeks we had three those were not weeks i enjoyed at all you take an exam you either celebrate you mope cool on your way home while you're walking then you get home eat take a 10 minute break then you got to start studying for your next exam because it's always an exam um if it's not an exam it's a practical gross anatomy that seven credit course exam practical like every three weeks and we um do our own dissections here in gross anatomy at UMSOD. Um, I don't know if every dental school does that. And we also do the, I guess the top half, not head and neck, but just the top half of the body. Um, so that was interesting, very interesting experience. So it's about 8.20 this morning. Um, I got up at seven, well, I woke up at seven, got out the bed maybe like 7.30. Um, about to make breakfast pack a lunch maybe if I have time. I have a pretty packed day today. Uh, first class, I have lab at nine, last day of operative lab until 12. Then I have anatomy lecture from one to three. Am I going to physically be present? We'll see because 
Attendance isn't required, so I can watch it online async asynchronously. I think that's the word. Um, and then I have anatomy, gross anatomy lab from three to five. Um, so cadaver lab after, right after anatomy lecture. Um, so I will be in the dental school slash med school from 9 a.m. to five today, nine to five. I think I'm going to take that break from 12 to one to come home. I only live like a 10 minute walk away. And then potentially watch anatomy lecture, maybe take a nap and watch that later on my own time. Cause like I said, lecture attendance is not required. Um, so stay tuned. About to eat my breakfast. I try to have a balanced, uh, a balanced meal. So here's my smoothie with my fruits and vegetables in it. My eggs, with protein and cheese in it. Gotta have my yerba because I need energy. And I'm watching currently a video on class two, composite restoration, so that I can be prepared for um, lab. So today in operative lab, it's our last day. We have our practical Friday. Um, it's the last day before spring break. They do this for winter break too. It's always the last day before a big break. Um, but I'm doing a class two MO on tooth number 30 and a class two uh, composite restoration on 19. So, and then for anatomy, gross anatomy lab, I believe we're finishing, we're doing, um, we just dissected our donor's brain, which was fun. Not fun, I don't know if that's the word, but interesting, very interesting. I honestly was not looking forward to gross anatomy lab. Cadavers are not a thing that I found intriguing. Um, I'm here for dentistry, not for, uh, dissecting the dead and that was just something I kind of had to get over and once I got over it like I'll come home from gross anatomy lab and want to tell everybody like wow like I took the I took my donor's lungs out by hand I dissected their I did dissect their head it was I it took me a while to get used to the face like I really couldn't look at it for the first couple of hours but you get used to it um the first practical I spent like days on the weekend in, in cadaver lab, just looking at everybody's uh, different bodies to be able to identify it. It's just something I guess I just got used to, surprisingly. So today we're doing brain. And if I finish early, if my group finishes early, we might start dissecting the eye. Like we got to take it out of the, yeah. Um, so that'll be fun. Um, yeah. And then I have a uh, my operative didactic, our written exam, final tomorrow afternoon. So after class, I'm probably going to eat dinner, take maybe like an hour break. Definitely shower after being in the anatomy lab all the formaldehyde. You come home smelling kind of crazy. Um, and then study for my final. Here is my setup at my station and operative lab. There's my computer. There's all the instruments I was using for my restoration, and that's my cassette. This is my type it on with my rubber dam on and my garrison ring. Here I am working at my station. I was doing a restoration on tooth number 30. Um, as you can see, I'm also left-handed. Um, yeah, it might look like I'm doing stuff backwards, but I'm not. Um, our dental school is very accommodating for those who are left-handed. I didn't know that I was gonna kind of struggle in the beginnings, but once I, told one of my professors about it. They were um, very helpful in getting me into a left-handed friendly spot. So shout out to Dr. Morgan, you were real. Out of the operative, um, headed back home for lunch. I should be studying for my uh, operative final I have tomorrow during lunch, but I kind of just need an hour off from teeth at the moment, so. Yep. Also, as far as food options, there's definitely plenty of places to eat around on campus. Um, I just, you know, I'm a student, so and I got to start living like it. I really do want to order Chick-fil-A, but I don't have Chick-fil-A money. So I'm going to go home and make lunch myself. But um, there's like a whole bunch of places in the in the hospital cafeteria. The hospital cafeteria, I consider that fine dining. That's not just the everyday meal. Also had a Panera, it just closed down for whatever reason, just randomly. Uh, 
Starbucks. We got Starbucks. We have Nando's, um, Subway, 7-Eleven, if you consider that meal. It's all about perspective. Um, but yeah, so most people, there's also, I should have toured the cafe upstairs or downstairs in the dental school. Um, but again, just trying to save money. So I'm walking home to save money and eat lunch. Here's an update. Didn't make it to anatomy lecture. Uh, decided to take my nap. I have lab at three, gross anatomy lab. So about to head there. Um, yeah. You should never feel bad about taking naps. Um, you gotta take a nap. You know, you should always prioritize your happiness as well. Um, and in order for me to be happy, I need to be well rested. So our gross anatomy lab is right across the street in the med school. So that's where we go to do our dissections. Just left anatomy lab. Um, I was only there for like an hour, but today I we started the eyes. So um, had to cut the bone to move like this part of his skull out to get his eye um so that was fun got dust everywhere technically we have another lab on friday but we did everything we had to do so we don't have to be in lab friday before spring break or so on my way home to study now well not home to study home to shower because i smell like formaldehyde and change my clothes then head over to my friends to study. 30 p.m um currently about to go head over to my friends to go study for this operative exam we have tomorrow um just ate lunch packed my bag with my snacks headed to Amani's. i got my big bag literally have every single snack possible in here this is my my studying bag i finally found a purpose for it because it's so big but about to head over to study it's gonna be a long night all right, everyone. So I just wanted to record a quick outro because that video ended a little abruptly. Either way, thank you for watching Camille's Day in the Life video at University of Maryland. If you are interested in learning more about the University of Maryland School of Dentistry or you have questions specific to the school, do not hesitate to reach out to Camille via Instagram, which will be linked in the description. And um, or you can leave a comment under the video and I can relay the message to Camille as well. Um, aside from that, thank you all for watching. Please make sure you subscribe, especially if you watched all the way through this video. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.